uh, it's my privilege to be here and addressing all the women leaders over here and uh, i had i hadn't planned anything because my entry over here for, for this award function was last minute decision i would have loved to get a presentation for you but i think things which come spontaneously are the best so i am just going to give you a spontaneous talk on what i am doing and how it is going to empower the leaders the women because the theme as i was told was women empowerment right so uh, i would just uh, want to ask you uh, what do you see which which side of this whole world women is heavier uh, before m or after o before m or after o is heavier i think that these these two alphabets w and o uh, have much more weight than the three letter word with due respect to our men folk i would not underrate their importance in any way but w o o makes it so much more interesting so much more colorful and so much more meaningful isn't it so okay i would ask you another question we are all here seated here when you entered you must have you know experienced the ambiance of this whole place of the taj hotel the reception the people over here when you uh, came to this uh, hall and uh, had this uh, uh, the 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 panel behind not been there uh, it would have been just you know the simple kind of uh, the, the uh, wooden uh, description which is there over there of the whole hall how would you have felt doesn't it complete the picture of the event which is being handled doesn't it or does it it does it does create an ambiance what if the screen over here was just a single screen and not on both the sides or it was missing definitely the two screens over there add much more importance and ambiance to the event ladies i ladies and gentlemen i am an image consultant uh, this is another hat i am donning and which is very dear to me for the past 10 years because uh, i feel that uh, it has given me the power to make a difference to other people's life age no bar gender no bar organization no bar i am into uh, creating beautiful images who doesn't want to be beautiful everybody and what i'm going to talk about today in general is how to be your best 
much more beautiful than you actually are and women especially all the time are looking forward to enhancing their beauty in terms of the external makeover in terms of the internal makeover in terms of the health today uh, manisha was here giving a wonderful talk on sujo and all of us were so interested in you know uh, instant reaction was there to improve our health so we are so gullible and we are so acceptable and we are so absorbent of anything good that comes the way in terms of improving our inner and outer self so here i am with an international certification in image management wherein i extract the forte of communication skills as my uh, expertise and i have my business as value your image and uh, winning preparation training solutions my facebook page is value your image now ladies i would want to say that when you meet a person in the first few three seconds you make an impression you cast an impression there are ladies who are enjoyed classical they are the classic beauties god has given them beautiful classic features they are endowed with beautiful skin uh, they are uh, very good you know in their figure tall but uh, very few of them okay most of us are very normal looking ladies who uh, at the end of the day uh, end up either uh, being what they are or becoming something which they feel can be they can improve upon right so first and foremost what we tell others is that you have to be your best you have to hug yourself and tell that this is what i am this is what god what god has given me and i have to accept that that in full form some people are always you know bugged with their skin some people are bugged with their figure variations some people are bugged with their hair kuch na kuch problem ladies ka chalta hi rehta bata do bhai main kaise sundar ho sakti hu so sundarta aapki it's not only about external beauty it's about your internal beauty as well and more about internal when we come across strangers when, I, when we come upon uh, come, come across people whom we don't know we uh, you know instantly get attracted to their external appearance but when we talk to them once they open their mouth the true beauty comes across whether they are actually beautiful or not comes from within what we work upon is the combination of both external as well as internal it's the plus of both external might not be so much up to the mark but if the internal is good is 
more than 100% beautiful. But if it isn't, it, it, it's up to 100%, it adds to your external beauty. So we work upon inside out. You must have heard about the magazine Inside Out. So we work inside out. And I have worked with uh, beauticians. I have worked with uh, Mrs. India Contest. I have worked with corporate sector. I have worked with NGO sector. I am uh, recently working with film students in Marwa Studios, uh, Film City, Noida. And I'm empowering them in the art of image management. Ladies, I would like to say that today when you go to a mall and you go to shoppers, stop and any or any other emporium, you see beautiful, smart ladies coming there, clad so beautifully, clad so smartly, uh, with the perfect grooming and perfect makeup, and don't you feel good about it? Rather than going to a place wherein the person is not well groomed, the person is not hygiene, looks hygienic enough, uh, the person cannot speak well, communicate well, express well, and doesn't know the job, definitely uh, gets a very low edge uh, when, we, when the sales are concerned. You know, in, in, uh, in the malls also, they might end up selling things which are not so wonderful just by the art of communication. So it is very important that you look your best, you behave your best, and you be your best. So in our field, we have three verticals which we work upon, which is your uh, dressing, your grooming, and your body language. So the first thing which gives a mark is your dressing. How you dress up is first impression you cast with that only. So when you enter a room or you, you meet people, it's your dress which speaks about you. So it is very important that you have to, it's not about branded clothes, it's not, it's not about fashion, but it's about what you wear, how you wear, where you wear, and the way you carry your dress. That's very important. Along with that is your grooming, which involves your hygiene, your hair, your makeup. I may look gorgeous, extremely gorgeous, and you know, uh, hair done in a very different manner, a different kind of, you know, sari, which is more attractive than what I'm wearing today, a different kind of makeup with the red lip color, but probably it would not suit this occasion today when I am here for a function. So we have to know what, what we dress up, how we dress up, what kind of grooming we would do and for what. Nobody would be wearing a beach wear over here for this award function. Do you agree with me? So for every dress there is a place, there is an occasion and there is a time to wear. It's not essential that if there is a fashion of 
wearing anarkalis so we don anarkalis everywhere whether we are going to a stadium for a sports function or we going for a, a classical music program so a particular kind of dress so this knowledge is very important in today's world because we are women leaders we are uh, dealing with uh, global uh, businesses we are dealing with global clients internationally we are moving so what what happens if we do this what would not happen if we don't do this see these are not hard and fast rules so many people say that like i am very happy in my own skin i don't want other people to tell me how to dress up or how to groom or how to communicate communicate myself that's fine we, we don't you know compel people to do certain things it is very important that whatever we talk about is out of research and experience and it's very technical let me tell you that if you do what we you know purport it's definitely going to give you a successful image and who doesn't want a successful image so in today's world it is very important that you dress correctly and you groom correctly these are the two verticals which give cast the first impression when you go for an inter interview you know the kind of dress you are supposed to wear you always ask people and everybody knows like it's a very common thing that when you go for an interview a corporate interview now the interviews also one day a student who was going for an rj interview in in a radio station she asked me ma'am could you just suggest what should i wear i'm going for an interview when she said she is going for an interview i just told her like uh, what would you wear uh, what would you like to wear a western outfit or an indian outfit and she said that i would want to go for an western outfit and then i suggested what she should wear then i asked her i said what kind of interview are you going for she said she is going for a rj interview to a radio fm radio station i said then you can be creatively dressed it's not essential that you have to be uh, you have to have a kind of a somber and sophisticated corporate look because that look for the interviews is appreciated in the corporate sector but for an artist's interview they would want you to be stylish they would want you to look smart you could have a you know very gorgeous hairstyle also so but make it a little subtle it should not be out of you it should be over the top so then that's the way we deal with the uh, clients and we customize it according to the roles and goals which is very important we cannot customize a particular kind of personality or an image for you which is not based on your style which is not based on your role and goal supposing a lady is working in the rural sector and i teach her how to do a party makeup or or, or teach her to uh, be in a corporate look she won't be comfortable so the comfort part is very 
very important that you are comfortable in what you are doing and it matches your roles and goals and your likes and dislikes. So this is a very technical field and I would uh, definitely uh, love all you uh, ladies over here who already are so evolved and doing so well in your fields that incorporation of these skills communication again how to express yourself beautifully most of the people think that it is very essential to speak correct English and correct language it doesn't matter whatever language you speak whether it's a regional language it's Hindi whether it's English you have to command confidence with whatever you speak so it's very essential that you walk with confidence and the confidence comes from knowledge correct dressing correct grooming and see how you influence and impact lives and inspire people they would come to you like bees come to honey thank you ladies i won't take i won't bore you with the length of my talk and it's been wonderful over here and we are going to learn and relearn and evolve in the next few hours and probably tomorrow thank you so much